Good morning guys. We just spent the last two days kind of just relaxing and enjoying Queenstown, catching up on some things, getting some videos edited. We finally had some good electricity and some good Wi-Fi. So now we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of exploration all around the Queenstown area. There's a bunch of, let's say, uh, short drives between 20 to 20 minutes to an hour. You can see a whole bunch of cool different viewpoints just right outside of the city. So it's something you can either do in a day or in some of the places we're going to go to. You can also stay for a bit and camp overnight. We're just going to do it all in a day and check some of the things out and and then ultimately uh, we're gonna drive a little bit closer to Milford Sound by the end of the day. So first on the list is gonna be Glen Orkey. It's about a one hour drive. It's only like 30 miles, but it's a lot of twisty and windy roads to get down here. And then we're gonna make our way back up to a few different viewpoints and finish off just about an hour and a half outside of the Milford Sound area. So we just made it here to the first stop, which is the town of Glen Orkey. And uh, there are amazing views. It's a tiny little town though, like uh, you'll drive into the town and it'll take you maybe one minute or 30 seconds to drive from one side to the end. And then when you get to the end, you can get down here to the wharf, which you have some pretty nice views here. If you have a car, camper van, you can go ahead, park here, check out the place. But yeah, there's like a beach right over here. And then there is actually a walkway. We're not gonna do it now because we're just stopping at some of the places and kind of moving along from place to place. But you do have some options if you wanna come down here, spend the night here. We've had some recommendations to stay here for a night. So if you have the time, definitely do it. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of check it out here for a little bit, have a nice little brunch here. And then we're gonna make our way to the next scenic viewpoints around here. One thing to note is when you're in certain parts of New Zealand, you're gonna to wanna to wear more layers, otherwise you're gonna end up like what my feet look like right now, which have a bunch of really, really, really itchy bite that are so annoying. They're from these things called sand flies. They're not dangerous or anything, but they are so annoying. So what I'm wearing right now is actually like probably the worst thing you can wear in the areas where the flies are because so much of my skin is exposed. So I have shorts, flip flops and everything. So it's time to do a little bit of an outfit change so I can reduce the amount of bites and much better full outfit change here so so you got the long sleeves covers up the uh, arms here pants long socks so there's no exposure of the skin that covers the whole body that reduces the amount of sand fly bite all right and that was just a quick stop through Glen Orkey, and uh, now we're gonna head on back up to Queenstown make it stop at a couple of these viewpoints and uh, we'll see you guys once we get up there So guys, just made it to Bob's Cove Track and you got a few different options if you wanna hike here. So you could spend either a couple hours here or you can do the expedited Bob's Cove exploration like we're doing here, which is the Lime Kilns and Jetty Direct. It's about 20 minutes, so we'll cruise on down there and see you there. Good news for you all, if you have to do your business, there's a toilet about 10 minutes into the hike. Right there. Doesn't look like the nicest porta potty in the world, but hey, gotta go, you gotta go. I think we probably walked maybe 10 or 20 minutes here. It's probably as far as we're gonna go, but you have some nice views right here of what I believe is all of Bob's Cove. And of course you got a nice teepee here too. So if you wanna camp out, it's illegal. You can't do it. <laughs> Someone must've been bored and built a nice teepee. It looks nice though. But uh, yeah, the lake is so clear and beautiful. And there, I think right up to the top there is where you can hike much further down. That's probably maybe an hour, two hours return. Probably not hiking it today, but Definitely at least walk this far. Some pretty cool views. Quick stop at Bob's Cove and uh, hopping back in the van. As you can see, I changed. Even though those sand flies will get you, the sun's coming out, so I had to change back, cool down. So next stop will be Arrowtown, and we probably have a 45 minute drive till we get there. We were just cruising back from Glen Orkey and came across an insane amount of traffic stopped, and then we saw a helicopter landing on the road, and uh, we walked up to it, and it was a tour bus flipped on its side. So pretty scary, someone had to get airlifted. A reminder to be safe out there. It looked like, yeah, just like a, probably like a mini sized tour bus. Uh, from what it sounded like, it maybe it was going too fast, but nothing confirmed there. Be safe out there. Drive safe. These curvy roads are dangerous. Slow down for them, don't go too quick. And wear your seatbelt on that tour bus. Update is we've been here for about two and a half hours and uh, most of the medical crews have cleaned up now. A total of two helicopters came, and so what we've heard is that the two serious injuries were, uh, said like a 10-year-old girl lost two of her hands. Another guy lost his arm, and I'm, I'm not sure, too, uh, too sure of the details there, so pretty sad. They're still working on flipping over the bus, uh, but most of the, uh, the crews are cleaned up at this point, and then they sent a water taxi over here to start moving some of the people. And there were so many people actually that got stuck at first, but uh, after a little work, they were able to get it out of there. 
probably in the next hour and a half, we are gonna be heading on to our next destination, which will probably be our final destination for the day with a change of events. So we'll update you then. So we just passed the site and they just finished uh, moving the bus off one of the lanes, but they have not yet put it on the tow truck, but they did. They were able to let traffic through. So now we're gonna be heading back into uh, Queenstown, pick up some groceries, and then we're not really sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the road trip, because that was about four hours wait time and so plans changed a little bit. Whew, wow, yeah, after a pretty crazy day, sad day for uh, what had happened. By the way, I don't think there was any deaths, thankfully, but yeah, there was some pretty tragic stories uh, with, with some of the limbs that were lost on two, two of the victims, so. Now we're gonna be exploring uh, Arrowtown here for a short little bit. Figured it was a cool place to check out here, and so we'll show you what it looks like here, yeah? So the bathrooms here, the public bathrooms here in Arrowtown are really cool. Watch and learn. Welcome to Exalu. Please press button to close and lock door. The future is now. And then door locked. Your maximum use time is 10 minutes. Press button to unlock door. Wow. Wait for it. Listen. She's in nice bathroom heaven. Classical music, really nice sink here, all automatic, water soap, dryer, even getting the toilet paper. Pretty cool, let's go. <laughs> that was Chelsea's highlight of the day. And then it says thank you for using whatever it is. We just made it to downtown Arrowtown and this is a cute little town, isn't it, Chelsea? It is. Yeah, she she loves it's a the very cute little town. I she, love the cute little. She towns. loves the cute little town. So it almost feels like a mix of Colorado, Texas, New Mexico, and then I don't know. Put that all together, you get a cool looking town like this. So guys, note to self and note to you guys: don't come to Arrowtown at 6 p.m. because every single thing is closed on a uh, what is it Tuesday? Yeah, on a Tuesday today. So I guess the time to come is maybe midday or on the weekends, and you'll find more of the businesses are open. There's literally like one out of ten things on this block that are actually open. So looks like we're gonna be moving on to the next spot, which is the grocery store, quicker than expected. And we're going back to the van. That was a quick stop in Arrowtown. So now we are heading out. And arrival to the next stop is Countdown, which is the grocery store right here outside of Queenstown, where we're gonna stock up this camper van and get us ready to head up a little bit further to our next destination. Made it to the campsite, guys. Pretty tired. It's already almost 10 p.m. So I'll give you a tour of this place. It's a free campsite, and uh, it's got some nice views on the lake. So I'll show you it in the a.m. night. Good morning, guys. From Kingston Lake Camp. Now that we got a little rest in us, and it's a little bit brighter out here, I can tell you a little bit more about this place. It's just a few minutes outside of Queenstown. Probably like a 30-minute drive or so. Maybe a little bit more beautiful windy roads coming in here and then yeah like I said it's a free campsite here and they have restrooms and some beautiful views here out on the lake you can see behind me there is you know mountains in the background lakes everything beautiful and uh, when we got here even at like 9 30 p.m. there was still enough spot on uh, Tuesday night but I guess in New Zealand every night's a weekend night because most of the people here are touring around this place so uh, whenever you come, you should be able to find a place uh, quite easy, but obviously the earlier the better. The spots that are best are right on the lake there. So if you can find one right on the lake and near the restrooms, that'll be like the best spot you can get. So a cool place to come and spend the night. I think you can stay a maximum of two nights here and then you have to move on. But um, I think two nights or even one is all you need to do a quick stop here. And then you're about three hours away from Milford Sound. So that's gonna be where we're heading next. Um, so can't wait to show you guys that. It's gonna be awesome. And so if you wanna see more videos like this, hopefully you like this road trip today. It was a little bit different than usual because we had a turn of events. Um, but either way, we wanted to show you some of the cool parts here in New Zealand. So hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more videos like this in New Zealand and other videos coming up in many different countries. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys in the next video.